uh, fans from other countries. And Jack Carter was close to the fans. And from that moment onwards, the Irish fans became known throughout the world as the most gentle, the most fun of them, the most non-aggressive fans in the world. Not once was there an incident disrupting that contract between Jack Carton and the fans of the Irish football team. Leo Varadkar is incapable of that kind of leadership and for that reason he had to impose a lockdown to protect himself because he has no other way of gaining the acquiescence of the Irish people other than by force. So, if you look if you look now at the map of uh, the alleged cases of uh, coronavirus, and we can ascribe a limited degree of uh, credulity to these, but however, if you look at it, you will see that there are there's a major hotspot insofar as there are hotspots in Dublin, another in Cork, another in Limerick. There, that's where the disease is apparently most virulent, if it's virulent at all. There's also one other, and that's in Cavan, right beside the border. So these people actually, and Drew Harris has told us this, the Commissioner of the Guard, of Garda Shikona, who was privy to all of this, has told us that at the time they enacted this legislation, they knew that this anomaly existed. So these people who have prated for years about equality and discrimination have brought in a law which is deliberately, provocatively discriminatory how dare they? In a way that is actually, if they are correct about anything, and it's doubtful, but if they are correct about anything concerning this virus, has endangered the lives of many people along the southern side of the Irish border. These and many people, of these citizens, many of these people coming down from the north are Irish citizens. They hold dual citizenship. So yes. citizens are being treated differently in the eyes of the law, which is a fundamental breach of our constitution. Everywhere you look, you trip over another unconstitutionality. In effect, we have now no constitution. For the moment, that is the, the ultimate meaning of that. I'll speak later about this. Where I'm going to speak to this issue. That's our court. only protection, John, but, from this uh, vaccine. This, this, this uh, uh, consti our constitution has been parked, has been stood down. And you might say that this is an experiment. And the next phase will be to throw the constitution in the bay. Because at this stage, if they can do this, they might as well do that. That is why we are here, to recover our constitution from these people and give it back to the people. Thank you. We've all put up a bit of a struggle to be here today, and we understand the risks that you have taken. If any of you is harassed or arrested or charged with anything, be in absolutely no doubt that we will be beside you, we will be at your side. Because they cannot detain you. They cannot, they know they have had to back down. Now we see with every passing day, they're backing down. They know that they are breaking the law. Yes. The guardian. So have nothing to fear. And I cannot express the gratitude that I have, John and I have, for every single one of you here today. Really. So we go in now and uh, we don't know how long it's going to take. This is our fourth appearance in three weeks and by now leave should have been granted. The standard is very low in order to receive a judicial review. Leave should have been. In many other jurisdictions around the world, these cases have been dealt with expeditiously and that they have been the lockdown has been ruled unconstitutional. We have one of the strongest constitutions in the world, but the courts are prevaricating, delay, you know, and, and trying yes. to obfuscate everything. And every day that passes, Ireland yeah. tumbles closer and closer to the precipice. I speak to economists who tell me every day, every day we are losing and every day we are sliding backwards. These guys who call themselves progressives, we are sliding past 2008, is in the past now. We're going back 2006, 2000, into the 1990s. 1929 awaits. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> so uh, that's what we're going in for. Uh, we'll speak to you when we come out. We have no idea how long it will take today. It could be a very long day. Who knows?
these we'll people, be here. These people yeah. are going to play some trick, so it could be a short day. We have no idea. We don't Dude. know what to expect any day we go in here because clearly the entire thing is stacked in such a way as to frustrate us, but we are not frustratable and we are not intimidatable, as I keep saying. And uh, we ain't either. And you are not either. <laughs>